So we're going to look at sketching. The homework is to be uh, do a whole series of sketches from photographs that I'm presenting in class. Sketches are these really loose, light uh, pieces. The main thing is to actually draw as light as you can in the beginning and stay away from detail. Um, imagine that these are all uh, in class in the homework. They're just quick drawings. So sketches are a way to figure out like where things should be. They're erasing and redrawing, and these are ink pieces. And you know they're working on they're working on establishing where something might sit in your picture frame. You know you can see how loose this is. Somebody back here is reading a book. They don't have time for detail. That's not what it's about. This is not the final painting. These are all pieces that have this loose light line quality to them. And these are from masters. These are these are some where they're putting washes to get values in. We'll, we'll be doing that in class. In the next class, we start stepping into values. This is the, the way of, of practicing where you're drawing loose and light. They're working on establishing things. See how many different lines are sitting here? Like, where does this go? What would it be like? What's it feel like? How do I block in something? You know loose light stuff there's more detail here they're working out some things um, they say in your painting if your painting doesn't work it's because your drawings don't work um, different levels of sketching these are more elaborate pieces but you can see how loose this hand is on everything um, there um, there's more detail at certain points there's more values um, and then things get loose, like to see how the scarf is. They're just trying out something. Um, here's a piece where it's a lot more drawn. It's got cross hatching where the cross hatching goes over top of each other. It gets more gray and, and can even go into very dark stuff. Here's where they're even showing where some of the light is. And these are ideas then that they would then put into a painting. You can see how many different lines that are here, like they're trying to figure out like, what would that be like and where would they be and where should that happen um, this piece has the has values put into it in washes those are the sepia back here look how loose these drawings are they don't have time they're not interested in detail this is not what that kind of drawings about and um, so they're they're working on like okay how would that figure lay in this form what are these other figures See how the thigh is just an oval. There's no detail. They're not sticking around too much. And then something like that then turns into a painting where they're spending more time and energy on something. Um, da Vinci has a way where he was um, did he did a lot of uh, military work, but he's this is his ways of working out ideas for all the projects that he's working on. Um, he was one of the early ones that worked on anatomy, so he's drawing, you know, what a baby looks like. These are all his um, sketches, his sketchbooks, his line work. Um, this is one of the more classic drawings of uh, symmetry and proportions. And, um, and then landscape. It's really loose, like whatever you're drawing, this has this ability of just, you're just trying out something. There's this way of kind of trying to get lost in what you're drawing. And uh, later on, you can turn these into more elaborate paintings. This is by Egon Schiele or Gustav Klimt. Um, yeah, Schiele. This is Schiele's work. Um, something that's more elaborate that would go into the game industry, uh, feature films, movies, animation. So a lot more elaborate drawings, but you can still see the, the understructure of where the perspective is. Those lines, they try something out, they block it in. All the concept art in the industry for movies, it's just loose drawings because it's not its not final pieces. So you can see how the, there's so much more gestural work in this piece just in trying to block it out. You can see how they're drawing over the form, down the middle of the form, um, to figure out where things might be. You know, like you can see the ovals and the blockiness and the ovals here, they start off with an oval. There's this looseness, like they stay away from detail. And then over time, if you have the time, then you can go back in there and dial into detail or you can put in values. 
So here's this loose, see how it breaks up and it just disappears because it's not about that. It's about the headpiece, it's about something else. And then taking this piece and turning it into something that has more personality. They're using markers, they got values and they got colors and they got light and they've got form. And there's a personality that's happening in there. See how the dark goes right up against the light of the face. Um, my friend Ian McKegg, he's been a big concept artist for Star Wars. He did Darth Maul's face. Um, he's got this level of pencil work that's loose and light. And he draws with his pencil tilted on the side. He blocks out shapes. It's more about trying to get an idea or the beginning of something happening. So he's had more time to dial in here and make this dynamic. Right, you can see the lights and the darks and he's getting in there and shading pieces. It's another one of his pieces. So he's working on like establishing like, okay, this is a dinosaur and it turns and there's these, these there's an oval here. And, um, and so then the background and the smoke and the clouds, it's just loose because that's not what it's about. It's about a quick idea and he's just blocking in some stuff and then that can turn into a painting. Or Doug Chang, who's a big Star Wars guy also, like he's just doing these magic marker, loose, dreamy things that slowly turn into something where then he dials it in more. And you can even see that he's laying the lines of, of what's happening in there. And they're just there. They're in the drawings. They make it look fresh and interesting. And so the, the next part then is for us to draw. So you're going to grab your sketchbooks. And we're going to look at, this will be the whole set that I will post on Dropbox. And um, we're going to look at, look at all of this and how to draw. So the main thing to be looking at is to look at, okay, it's a square. So let's imagine that you're going to do four drawings per two pages in your sketchbook. So two on the left and two on the right. And you imagine that these drawings are going to be you know, one minute to two minutes at the most. The main thing is to stay away from detail. And so the first thing is to look at the piece. Then second thing is to draw your frame. And then what I did uh, in my, in this picture example and in my imagination, I will draw crosshairs on my drawing to establish the, where the center is. is. And then over here, I can look at this part of the bird and I can see how it fills up this quadrant. So I can, I can work on establishing it up there. So when I'm drawing it, then I'm working, I almost do a tip from here and I do a big teardrop. You know, I can see this line here and then there's almost another oval here and there's a triangle here. I'm staying away from detail. I'm just, I'm drawing inside of the shape. I, I'm drawing lines here, I'm drawing lines here. Look at this quadrant. It's only a, a small triangle of the bird that's over here. So I, I'm staying away from detail, staying away from detail, staying away from detail in the beginning of my drawings. So what I've done with some of these drawings is I put the crosshairs so that you can help see and where to establish these pieces in your quick sketches. So um, again, I will post these on Dropbox, but here the first thing to do is to draw a rectangle and then look, take the time to look and then see if you can draw these as abstract shapes. There's an oval here. You know, I look at this, there's a triangle here. There's a triangle here. So I draw these over and over and, and I draw these lightly. So try not to commit to your lines. Just draw really lightly and see if you can get it so that it's close to this part of the end of the paper, of your page. Or down here, I just draw straight lines. There's a straight line, there's a straight line, there's a straight line, there's a straight line, there's a straight line. And so then later on, if I have time, I could come back in and do detail, but stay away from detail. These are not about detail. These are quick sketches. It's teaching you how to see, and it's teaching you how to slowly establish the, uh, the, the object onto your page. So here I see this big arch that looks like this, right? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm drawing a vertical rectangle, right? I've got my whole vertical rectangle piece. And then there's almost a straight line here. There's a straight line here. You know, it just does this really great arch, and I'm working on 
like how far is that from the edge of the paper? How far is that from the edge of the paper? How far is that from the edge of the paper? How far is that from the edge of the paper? So that's all this negative space, you know, seeing how this, this goes around and it turns so abruptly and these what kind of other shapes. So this, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from detail and uh, what I also want to do is I want to look at the reference as much as possible and stay away from looking at my drawing. So my quote is that if you're not looking at the reference, you're making shit up. If you're looking at your drawing and you're not looking at the reference, you're making shit up. And that's not what we're doing here. What we want to be doing is we want to look at the real reference. What are these lines? So you go, imagine that you actually don't look at your drawing hardly at all. And you're looking here at everything that's happening. Where is this? What's this negative space? Where did this line go? So where's the center? So if I would draw a center, I've got a center line here and I've got a center line here. And then I start drawing like, what, how do those things fit into that space? So again, here's my wrap, my square. I, break, I, I draw an imaginary lines down the middle to get it centered, and then I start off drawing a, a, an oval, and a circle, and a line, and another line. I start just very lightly drawing these shapes.